Hey everyone, Mark Lasky here. Today we're talking bunker play. It's been a good couple months since we've all been in a bunker, so let's have a refresher on good setup, little bit of technique, so let's get going. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a nice stable base. To achieve that, we're just gonna go feet slightly wider than shoulder width. Now, alignment. Here we're looking to aim quite square to the target. So the old way of playing bunker shots would be people with a left foot back, hips and shoulders open, and they would be cutting across the ball as they hit it. This is hard to be consistent because it's a glancing blow on the ball. Now, far more better way to play it is we stand square with our feet, hips and shoulders, and we're actually gonna swing on line with the flag. So we're gonna now talk about foot positions. Normally people would have a foot that's quite square, point to the camera and lean left. This makes it very hard to turn your chest all the way through the bunker shot and you can easily get very steep and duff it or thin it through the green. So we've got our, now we've got a wide stance, we're aiming square to the flag. We're now going to turn right foot out 45 degrees, left foot about 70 degrees. So wiggle our feet in, bend both knees and then we're going to lean or bend 60% of weight into our left side. This creates a very stable lower body because we don't want much hip turn in the bunker place shot. We actually want the club head to release past the body and that's not possible if we're turning aggressively with our hips. So we've got a good setup here. We're gonna go ball about two inches off your left heel, 60% of weight on our left side. If I had a worse lie, for instance, I could just lean 80% of weight into that left side and I will naturally be steeper without having to change my technique. So we're here, bent knees, left side, two inches off the heel, no shaft lean. I want this nice straight pointing at my belt buckle. And then from here, I'm just gonna look to hinge going back and through the shot, try and finish with the club head, finishing above my head. Hopefully, look something like this. And in case you're wondering, that took me four takes, but don't tell anyone. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Look forward to seeing you all soon. Cheers.